1960, the rock and roll craze was in full swing. The Beatles were still two years away, but teenagers everywhere were listening to records and dancing. Nestle saw rock and roll as the perfect vehicle for advertising their chocolates. At this time, a record in England sold for six shillings and sixpence. Nestle made a deal with a manufacturer who could supply cheap records, lasting only about a minute and a half. They started a promotion where if a person sent in one shilling and sixpence, but also three empty Nestle wrappers, they would be sent a record. The idea was to capitalise on people's enthusiasm for music and to get them buying chocolate bars. One of the records by the King Brothers was called Rockin' Shoes. Chapel and Co. owned the copyright. In England at that time, a record manufacturer could make records of popular music so long as they notified the copyright holder and paid a royalty of 6.5% of the normal retail price. Nestle's record manufacturer told Chapel and Co. they were going to be making these records. Chapel and Co., however, were unimpressed because the selling price of one shilling and sixpence would make them much less in royalties than the usual price of six shillings and sixpence. They argued that the copyright laws only applied to retail sales of records and that this was not a retail sale, so the whole shebang was a breach of copyright by Nestle. Now it all came down to this. A retail sale is a sale of a product to a consumer for money. But this exchange was not just for money, because they also had to send in wrappers. If the wrappers were part of the consideration, then this was no longer a retail trade, because the records were not just exchanged for money. The court was split, but a majority found that the wrappers, even though they were worthless in themselves, were still part of the consideration. In his opinion, Lord Somerville gave a statement which has become a classic. He said, A contracting party can stipulate for what consideration he chooses. A peppercorn does not cease to be good consideration if it is established that the promisee does not like pepper and will throw away the corn. As a result, this was not a retail sale, and so it was an infringement of copyright. Mm -hmm.